I could put more. But why? If I don't have to. Right? So I cut what maybe 10 feet of that tree and this is what I get so you know I still have a good well that tree was probably about 35 40 feet long so you know one tree it's not bad in the end what kind of wood do I get well that's the thing when you're getting wood from your own property a lot of times like this stuff here is, is starting to get into that bunk-ish kind of state, you know. So, yeah, it's not the greatest wood, but it's free. <laughs> and, you know, we have lots of it. It just means that, you, you know, you got to clean out your, your stove more often. Big whoop de freaking ding do, you know. Look at that nice big dead one right there see I can cut that sucker down and the the one that I just cut down was at least as big as that if not just a little bit bigger than this one sorry I was pointing at this one this one right here and I mean I have probably so far I think I've found about six or seven of those in, within the property and like that big but then I still have a lot of other ones that are smaller you know um like actually right right beside it there's a little tiny tiny one there you know that's dead i get a lot of those i get you know if you look over here there's that one right there that's a dead one you know i haven't cut it down yet because it's right beside that thing but i should be able to cut it down here this year so anyways yeah so not bad i mean it's free can't complain about that <laughs> all right guys well hope you liked the uh the video uh it was more just for fun and to kind of show you guys around and kind of show you what my my day is when it comes to wood i do this pretty much just about every day um it's just it's nice it's relaxing i find it almost therapeutic you know chopping and everything so try it it's good it's good for you it's good for your heart <laughs> all right guys see you later Come on. Yeah, there you go.